Hello and welcome again at Learning is Fun. Today, I am going to discuss a very interesting topic. Let's see what is that? It is voice change. Let's see the picture and the sentences first. The monkey eats bananas. Bananas are eaten by the monkey. Now, in the second picture, you find the boy ate an apple. An apple was eaten by the boy. What is the difference in these two sentences? You find the subject boy becomes the object in the second sentence. Whereas the object apple becomes the subject of the second sentence. This is cause the voice of English sentences. Let's summarize all these things. Voice actually the characteristics of verb which indicates the relation of verb action to the subject. And it also shows the domination of subject or object in a sentence. Now, let's see more examples. The teacher teaches the students. And in the second sentence, you see, the students are taught by the teacher. What is the difference you find in these sentences? That is, in the first sentence, who is the subject? Who teach? The teacher. But in the second sentence, the subject teacher becomes the object. Whereas, whom de uh, does he teach? That is the student. It becomes the subject of the second sentence. And there is a significant point in the verb also. You may notice here that in the first sentence, the sentence was written in simple present tense and the verb is teaches. But what happened in the second one? The verb become are taught by the teacher. What is that? Are is the form of be verb and taught is the participle form of the verb teach. Now, this is as you have, I have told you what is boys. Now, boys are of two types. What are they? The active boys and the passive voice. See the example first. The cat chased the mouse. The mouse was chased by the cat. What happened here? In the first example, you find what subject does is stated very clearly. That is chased the mouse. But in the second sentence, the focus is on the verb that is chased. Now, then what is then the active voice? You find notice the example first. Here, the boy watches the star. In this sentence, you find subject the boy, verb watches. And what is what? The object is the star. And in the second sentence, you find my mom waters the flower. Here, the subject is my mom and verb is waters and object is the flowers. So, in these two examples, you find that what subject does has been stated very clearly and subject doing the action directly and the relation between verb and subject is very clear here. Now, look at the sentence first. Here, the star's 
are watched by the boy. Who is the subject? Now in this example, you find the stars are the subject. And the verb again, take a B verb because the sentence is written in present tense, simple present tense. So, are watched and the object become the boy which was the subject in the active voice. Now, in the second example also, the flowers are watered by my mom. You find the flowers become subject, are watered similarly as flowers are the plural in number, are watered, the verb, be verb, are is used and uh, the, the participle form of verb water is used here and which my mom is the object. If you notice these examples very clearly, you find in this passive voice, the subject become passive and it is the recipient of an action. That is, you find it become the object of the verb. And why do we use passive voice? It is when we uh, try to emphasize the action, uh, the receiver of action, or uh, we are intended not to tell the uh, subject clearly who did the action uh, clearly, then in an indirect way, we have to use passive voice in English uh, language. Now, let's see the active and passive voice together. My mom waters the flowers. Here, the subject is my mom. You know, verb is waters and the object is the flowers. So, in this sentence, uh, the passive construction as follows. The flowers are watered by my mom. See here, what happened here? You find action is passed on subject by object. That is, which was the subject in the active voice become the object there in the passive voice and the object become the subject. Similarly, the action, the water, it is action is passed on subject by object. Now, how do we, you uh, able to do the voice change? There is some rule and it is very simple. You can easily understand and do this, uh, do by yourself. What is that? Look at the example first. What is this? She helps him. Now, if I change the voice, change it into passive construction, what I do? Look, she helps him. Who was the subject? She was the subject. Verb was help. And he was the object. When it is a passive construction, as I have told you earlier, the object becomes subject. That is, him in the passive construction become he. And as usual, helps, it is written in a simple present tense. And when it is a passive construction, you have to use be verb and the participle form of the main verb. That is why is help and look at very clearly that the uh, subject which was C become by heart. Now summarize the rules. Bring the object first. I have done it here. You see, you find him becomes he. Then choose correct be verb that is correct form of be verb when it is present tense you have to use am is are when it is past tense you have to use either was or were and when it is future it will be it is will be and been is also used in some of the cases now this is very important you have to notice whether the sentence is written in present tense past tense or future tense and look at the number of the uh, subject you are going to use the be verb that is it may be singular or plural if it is singular then it use the be verb is used as is was etc for past tense and for uh, present tense but if it is a plural subject you have to use are 
um, wear, etc. Now, change main verb to participle. I have told you there are the three forms of verb. Uh, for example, do, did, done. The participle form means the third form of the verb. That is help, help, help. Here, participle form and the past form both are same. That is why the participle form is used. And add by plus subject. When the subject become object, have to you have to use by by that is by heart. Now let's see the change of person. This is very vital. In active voice, you find the subject or object or something like the pronoun you use, but in case of passive construction, you have to change them thoroughly. Let's see. If active voice in uh, the subject is I. It become uh, me when you done the passive construction. We, us, you, you, he, him, she, her, they, them. Look how subject and object change. I have given you the examples also. She helps him. Who was the subject? She. And uh, helps whom? Him. And him become he. You find that he, him, him become object in the active voice. When it, uh, in passive construction, it becomes he. And is helped by her. She becomes her. Now, let's see the change of word. There are three tenses refers to here. Simple present, simple past and simple future. And how do you use be verb in all these tenses? That is, in active voice, I bake a cake. In passive construction, it is, a cake is baked by me. In past, simple past tense, I used to say that I baked a cake. And in passive construction, I have to say, a cake was baked by me. And in future active construction, you must say, I will bake a cake. But in passive construction, I have to say like this, a cake will be baked by me. Now, let's see what are the changes. Look, bake is baked for simple present. Baked was baked. For simple past, will be, will be baked for sim, uh, simple future. Now, the, the rules are like this. For simple present tense in active uh, passive construction, you have to write like this. M is R plus participle form of verb in past. Passive construction, you have to use was or were plus passive participle form of verb. And in simple future passive construction, you have to use will be plus participle construction of verb. Now, let's try together. I have given you some examples uh, throughout the video. Now, I will uh, give you some exercise also. I will do with you together. But after that, I will give you some definitely some exercise which you have to do by yourself. Let's see. She reads a storybook. A storybook is read by her. You understand what happened here? She was a subject and in the active uh, passive construction, it become the object and a storybook was the subject in active construction and it become the subject for the passive construction. A storybook is read by her. Similarly, the verb is also there. Now, she advised me. I was advised by her. Now, let's see the other thing. 
this thing these examples i do not do for you you have to do it by yourself if you have any problem please do comment in the comment box i will definitely answer them shima cooks food the cat drank the meal she will sing a song and the books were marked by the teacher okay now try yourself do yourself if you have any problem please do comment so no more today thank you for listening and bye bye